Mastercam's roughing toolpaths are designed to remove material efficiently while respecting the user's fixtures and other work holding requirements. In Mastercam 2026, we've enhanced our 3D HST roughing toolpaths by including the option to identify critical depths. Let's take a look. With an OptiRough toolpath on our part, we can utilize large step downs to remove the bulk of our material. But notice that we have some flats here. This roughing toolpath would require us to come back with a secondary operation to machine those flats. And in some cases, we could eliminate a secondary operation if we could control what depths we're roughing at. In Mastercam 2026, in both OptiRough and Area Roughing toolpaths, we've added a critical depth section to the Cut Parameters page. When enabled, this allows us to identify all flats as a critical depth or just specific flats. Here, with Include Manual selected, we can identify additional flats to be machined during the roughing pass. Once we make our selection, we'll regenerate our toolpath. If we take a look at our new toolpath from the front, we now see that those flats are included as depth cuts during our roughing operation. This can save us time as we no longer need to create an additional operation specifically addressing this geometry. As you can see, this new feature can save time while programming and machining. Give it a try the next time you're roughing out areas and you need to machine those specific depths.